Hello, and welcome to Computer Networking Frequently Asked Questions and Answers. Let's get started. Question 1. On which layer are Ethernet standards and some wireless technologies operating? The correct answer is, Ethernet standards and some wireless technologies operate at the data link layer, which is the second layer in the OSI model. The Open Systems Interconnection OSI model is a conceptual framework that divides network communications functions into seven layers. Question 2. What are the seven layers of the OSI model? The correct answer is... The Open Systems Interconnection Model is a conceptual framework that divides network communications functions into seven different abstraction layers, which are the physical layer, the data link layer, the network layer, the transport layer, the session layer, the presentation layer, and the application layer. Question number three. Which networking device allows connections from many devices and inspects the contents of Ethernet protocol data? The correct answer is, a switch allows connections from many devices and inspects the contents of Ethernet protocol data. A switch is a networking device that connects multiple devices, such as computers, printers, and servers, on a network. Question 4. What does LAN stand for, and what's a router? For the first question, the correct answer is, a LAN is a local area network. For the second question, the correct answer is, a router is a networking device that connects independent networks by forwarding data between them. Question 5. What kind of wiring is in cables that communicate in voltage changes that are received by the receiving device as ones and zeros? The correct answer is copper cables. Copper cables are made of multiple pairs of copper wires inside plastic insulator. The sending device communicates binary data across these copper wires by changing the voltage between two ranges. Question 6. What modulation type is used for computer networks? And what is one of the most common type of cabling used for connecting computing devices? For the first question, the correct answer is line coding. Line coding is the modulation of an electrical charge so that each side of a connection knows what is a 1 and what is a 0. For the second question, the correct answer is twisted pair cable. Twisted pair cable features pairs of copper wires that are twisted together. Question 7. How many octets are there in a MAC address? And what address is used for Ethernet broadcasts? For the first question, the correct answer is a MAC, Media Access Control, address is a 48-bit number made up of 6 octets. And for the second question, the correct answer is the Ethernet broadcast address is distinguished by having all of its bits set to 1. As such, its MAC address is the hexadecimal value of FF colon, FF colon, FF colon, FF colon, FF colon, FF. Question 8. What is a cyclical redundancy check? The correct answer is a cyclic redundancy check, CRC, is a mathematical technique that detects errors in transmitted data. It ensures that there was no data corruption. Question 9. What does an Ethernet frame consist of? The correct answer is, an Ethernet frame starts with an Ethernet header, which contains destination and source MAC addresses as its first two fields, and the preamble is the first part of an Ethernet frame. The middle section of the frame is the data payload. This contains all of the data from the higher layers, such as IP, transport, and application layers that's actually being transmitted. The frame ends with a field called Frame Check Sequence, FCS. An Ethernet frame also has a two-octet ethertype field that indicates which protocol is encapsulated in the payload of an Ethernet frame. Question 10. How many IP addresses does a Class C network have? The correct answer is 256 addresses. A Class C network only has 8 bits of host ID space. For a Class C network, this comes out to 2 to the 8th power, or 256 addresses. Question 11. How many classes of IP addresses are there? The correct answer is, TCP slash IP defines 5 classes of IP addresses. Class A, 0 through 127. Class B, 128 through 191. Class C, 192 through 223. Class D, 224 through 239. Class E, 
240 through 255. Each class has a specific range of IP addresses. For example, Class A addresses have 126 possible network addresses and 16,777,216 possible local host addresses. The first octet of an IP address identifies all five classes. The majority of devices on the internet use classes A, B, and C. There are also four different types of IP addresses. Public, Private, Static, and Dynamic. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Keep up the good work and stay motivated until the end. And please keep going and don't forget to check the next videos about IT support, computer networking, frequently asked questions and answers.